Welcome back to Good Morning Waverly. The time is currently 645. On Wednesday and Thursday night, members of the community voiced their opinions about a possible new city ordinance. This ordinance would help enforce some of the current laws about rental properties in Waverly. This proposal could affect a lot of Wartburg students looking to live off campus as well as some landlords in Waverly. We are now joined by Mayor Bob Brunkhorst for more on what this ordinance could mean for Warburg students and for the community. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Now first, can you explain what this current policy is when it comes to rental houses? Right now in R1 and R2, if you have a, a rental unit, you can only have one person, non-family member living in there. And uh, if you're in a, a, another ordinance or another zoning area, you can have up to three, as long as you have some off-street off parking in R3 and R4 areas. So. It's a current ordinance and the question is should we start enfor enforcing this current ordinance or should we look at you know revamping it a little bit make it a little bit more flexible for our college community and and, and actually not just college but uh, for the all of our community okay what are some of the issues being addressed you know basically when people are calling they're ta talking about you know parking they're talking about you know um, you know people filling up the the streets uh, some of it's you know the quality maybe you know uh, you know the grass not getting mowed you know quality upkeep and then there's noise so those are three kind of factors that you know people are calling in and complaining about and then we want to have the look and feel of some of our residential as you know uh, you know families uh, so that's those are some concerns but we also know you know Waverly's tight uh, on housing and you know apartment complexes or apartments are necessary uh, for young folks, uh, young professionals, and even college students. Okay, and you mentioned before R3 and R4, can you kind of explain what that means? Yeah, well we have a zoning, diff uh, zoning areas in our town and you know some of them you know we want to have like residential and we'll have that as R1 and we want really people, uh, buildings there and families there for R1. Then we have you know all the way up to commercial. So we try to have zones in where really where things can be built, wh what activities can happen in that. And hopefully, you know, if you have good zoning, you don't have a lot of fights. And right now, I think, you know, what Waverly needs to do is look at our zoning, making sure that we have the proper designations uh, for, uh, for areas, and then look at maybe, you know, is the enforcement or is this ordinance really uh, a good policy? Or should we look at, you know, expanding it and say, well, if you have four bedrooms, you could probably have up to four people living there as long as you have parking associated with it. Uh, and then if, uh, uh, if people are complaining about quality, should we have a, a, a ability to com you know, have a complaint process and then take action on those? Okay. What do you think some benefits and then some negatives would be to this policy being enforced? Well, right now, you know, it's a complaint basis. So, you know, someone complains and then we go out there and find out, hey, you know, you got three people in your uh, rental unit. You're in violation. We need to kick two people out. Uh, and you know, if you're, you're in a contract, you're going to be, whoa, what am I going to be doing here? So you know, we need to have a little bit proactive. You know, establish what the, what the number of people can have in a, in a in a, a rental used unit. Okay. How will this kind of affect the relationship between the college and the community, the college students? Well, we want to definitely work with them. Uh, you know, we know we're a college community, and we you know, we know there's violations. So uh, we can't just have a heavy hand in this. So we, we want to have a you know step back and look at what's at the good public policy on this, and then uh, work work towards that. So we've had some meetings as you've seen, and we're taking that feedback uh, right now. We're going to gather that up and uh, see what type of ordinance or where should we be going with this because the current ordinance is not good. Okay. Thank you so much for joining Thank us you. today.